According to Jesse Berst, founder and chair of the Smart Cities Council, the smartest city in the world right now is Singapore. But the race to the top of this list has just begun. Cities all over the world are beginning to deploy smart technology to improve livability, workability, and sustainability for themselves and their inhabitants. In fact, that's the very definition of a smart city. However, achieving that will require a welter of powerful chips, a web of 5G antennas, and a dense network of high-speed wiring. That's what puts the smarts in smart cities, and all of it depends on materials like Teflon. It's a good thing cities are getting smarter, since they have to grapple with a massive influx coming in the next 30 years. Already, one person in eight lives in a megacity. By 2030, there will be 43 of those agglomerations around the world. Not only are our burgeoning cities going to need to get smarter, they're going to need to bulk out their infrastructure by adding roads, bridges, and buildings at a furious pace. Fortunately, some new materials are here to help them do so safely and sustainably. For example, new buildings will be able to turn to windows containing suspended thermo bimetals that can reflect or absorb sunlight depending on outside or indoor conditions, thus saving significant amounts of heating and cooling energy. Those new buildings may be built of new materials, too. Cement, while a wonderful building material, presents a challenge to the environment it accounts for 8% of the world's CO2 emissions. A host of new materials, from bioconcrete to laminated timber, is in the works, which may turn new structures from some of the most potent carbon emitters into giant carbon sinks. The cities these new structures define will need smart grids to balance intermittent renewable energy sources, real-time traffic routing to manage mega-city, mega-congestion, predictive analytics to keep populations safe, and a mix of new technologies that can harden urban centers against a more volatile climate. All of these developments will take time, especially in older cities. But the smart money is on smart cities, redefining the way we work and live.